Joining us in the studio is Dr. Philip Stavovi, a cardiologist at the German Heart Institute in Berlin. Welcome to Tomorrow Today. Thank you very much. Now, we've just seen in that report a pacemaker that lowers blood pressure. Can you tell us the difference between that and a regular cardiac pacemaker? Well, both pacemakers give an electrical energy, but one goes to the uh, uh, um, receptor mm -hmm. and the other one for the heart pacemaker goes to your heart. Right. And it normalizes your heartbeat. So one works on the receptors yes. to lower uh, a reaction or to lower your blood pressure, yes. and the other one works uh, yes. to help your heart function better. Um, now, then you yourself also have a different approach to the same, the same problem, blood pressure. Can you tell us how yours differs from the one in the report? Yes, uh, the method we use is called renal denervation. There's uh, uh, um, nerves around the renal artery and we um, kill these nerves and thereby lower the blood pressure. With the pacemaker, you increase the firing, uh, a signal to the brain, which tells the brain that the blood pressure is high and then the blood pressure goes lower. Deadening the nerve sounds a bit drastic. Is it drastic? Which no, it's is... not drastic at all. By the artery method, it's, um, it's a very simple and easy to perform method. So it's a simpler method than perhaps the one that we saw in the report? Yes, the one you saw in the report requires a, a large operation. So would you consider the one that we saw in the report a promising therapy? It is promising, but it is promising only for patients who cannot be treated by other means. So essentially, this is for people that medication doesn't work yes. on, and then this is a last resort. Yes. Okay. Um, then you're, you yourself, uh, you've been working in this business for a long time. Now, yes. you've come across this vaccine that came up a couple of years yes. ago. Whatever became of that? Didn't work in the studies. Was interesting, was fascinating idea, but it didn't work out. And um, so that didn't work out. Did they ever uh, come across any other medications that might help uh, hyper, hypertension? We have a large portfolio of medications. And when you combine these medications in the right way and the right dosage, you can lower blood pressure very effectively in many, many, many patients. Okay, so there are medications out there yes. and there are other methods if the medications don't work. Yes. But what can I do, what can people at home do to keep high blood pressure at bay? This is what we call the healthy lifestyle. So eat less salt, Mediterranean diet, exercise, no smoking, less alcohol and lose weight. Does that apply to everyone right across the board, even for someone my age? At your age, you don't have hypertension that much. You don't find hypertension. Okay. Dr. Philip Stavovi, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio.